What's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. So, we have been very busy, very busy indeed, over on twitchtv slash If you guys missed anything, if you guys want to check it out, link down below, obviously. But what have we been doing? Well, we've been getting some things done. Now you're gonna notice. Oh, look at this fancy building. Oh, it's super fancy and amazing. I know, right? So we repurposed the. Oh, we didn't repurpose. We moved the the hub essentially to over here because this is where our main factory is going to end up we're gonna end up building this out expanding this out making this like our super amazing main factory place you guys can see right over there guess what we got we got ourselves uh we got ourselves a little bit of uh cyber wagon action yeah i know we'll check it out don't worry but if you guys enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more okay so we built this building because this is gonna be like this is gonna be like our super amazing suite of everything uh, this area right here is actually going to be for the all the trophies because there's there's statues or statues I should say there's statues that you can get there's all kinds of them there's like the golden nut which is a, th a thousand tickets the golden nut it's I can't, <laughs> I can't even with that one okay all right so we're gonna try to put those uh, all down here as we get them. Now we're not currently making a whole bunch of tickets. This is just future preparations. But the things that we did do, oh my goodness, it's amazing. So we got the fuel generation going on. We have 13 fuel generators currently. Now, uh, something else that we did is that we're currently using about 23, 2400 ish megawatts of power. So we have about a thousand megawatts overhead currently which is fantastic. So we're making plastic, we're making all the things, doing all the stuff, making computers and whatnots, but something amazing happened during the stream. Couple of things amazing happened during the stream. First of which we will check out right now. That is right, boys and girls, we've got a train. We have a train going from multiple points, A, B, and C, bringing things back and forth and to and fro and all the things in betwixt. So we got that guy rocking and rolling. We're going to be playing with that a little bit this episode. We're going to be uh, expanding on it a little bit further because I think it's a good time. It's fun all around. Now, I actually have a uh, in the discord links down below. If you guys want to check out the Z1 Gaming Discord, uh, I have a link down below. There's actually a channel called Satisfactory Ideas where a bunch of people are posting things that they want me to try out, like uh, using multiple things on different jump platforms and things like that or seeing if the train does damage to you, you know, random testing things. So if you guys have any curiosities, anything you want tested, head over and over to the Discord, leave your comment in there. I would love to check it out. I'm gonna probably make a whole dedicated video completely on what you guys comment in that channel. Now, I don't know where the train's at. Let's go ahead and take a peek at where it's at. Okay, so timetable, this train, look, uh, next stop is currently Oil Mark II oil mark two i know so it's actually on its way there right now which is fine but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna oh what no try and wait for me and it's gone yeah we're not catching up with that we're not catching up with that unfortunately <laughs> it's just gone but a couple amazing things other than the train which is it is super amazing i mean come on it's the train it's most amazing we did some space elevator things space elevator things include that of well guess what unavailable and early access what does that mean <laughs> oh that means we actually unlocked the final tier of space elevator -ness. so we actually unlocked uh what is it tier seven i believe it is tier eight is currently unavailable in early access they don't actually have a tier eight available yet but we did unlock it we got it done it's good to go it's a thing it's done so we currently have everything that we can possibly do in satisfactory at the moment unlocked and ready to go now when i say unlocked i mean unlocked through the space elevator not necessarily unlocked as in got have having got all the resources but we have everything unlocked so nuclear power is on the horizon for us uh like i said we already have the train obviously because we have a super amazing train track which we will probably take a ride around so you can guys can see what's going on. I also want to show off the oil mark two area. Uh, we have a special dedicated area just for plastic and rubber that's being made because, well, we didn't have enough plastic being brought in and now, well, now, now we do. So let me, let me hop up here to the hub real quick. And within the hub, we currently have the milestones. So we have tier five. The only thing left on tier five is actually the gas mask, which I don't have fabric for yet. So we'll get working on that. 
uh, we have Bauxite Refinement, which is going to unlock the Conveyor Belt Mark V, the Conveyor Lift Mark V. It's going to unlock the uh, Aluminum Sheet, Aluminum Ingot, Aluminum Scrap, Alumina Solution, Bauxite Scanner Update, and Quartz Scanner Update. And we also have Advanced Aluminum Production, which is going to unlock the Miner Mark III. Amazing, I know. The Heat Sink, the Turbo Motor, which I've heard is ridiculous in the, um, the Awesome Sink. This thing gives you like the most amount of tickets you could ever want and possibly imagine. So we'll probably get something completely automated, making turbo motors, sending those directly to a heat to the uh, the the awesome sink, so we can get some tickets, so we can get some statues and stuff. We have the battery, the hazmat suit. Obviously, we're gonna need that for the nuclear stuff. We have the nuclear power plant that we can unlock. All the nuclear things to go along with it. Also, with the sulfur update, it's really weird. I don't know why the sulfur scanner update is right here. So that's kind of weird to me. I, I don't really understand. It's eh, it's kind of weird. But obviously the next thing on the horizon is the uh, the box site because that's gonna allow us to do the aluminum things. It's gonna be super fantastically amazing. I know where we have a sulfur thing. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, look at that. We can actually scan for sulfur already. So I'm not really sure why, but it's all the way over there. It's, it's kind of, it's a little bit of a ways. Uh, it's not super close by should be over there any minute now there it is <laughs> 978 away uh so we're probably gonna actually play with that this episode i want to get that kind of rocking and rolling we also have a couple other sulfur things like that but let's take a quick trip on the train so you guys can see what's kind of going on with that we also do have some fuel being packaged up we have the jet pack now guys a lot has happened since the last episode i highly twitch.tv slash z1 gaming for all the live streaming action I'm just telling you, a lot of live streaming action has been going on. Also, huge shout out for everybody supporting the stream lately. Uh, we've had a record number over on Twitch. We've had a record number of views here on YouTube. Patreon supporters, you guys are absolutely amazing. Everybody's absolutely awesome. Uh, we're gonna wait for the train to come back. I'm gonna ride the train over to our Mark II oil area. And I'm gonna kind of show you how that's going because the trains were a little bit confusing with me at first until I kind of figured them out. So I wanna start with going over there and then we'll come back here and then we're gonna talk about trains. We're gonna try to simplify the trains as much as we can. All right, we are on our wonderful train journey, heading over to this secondary oil area. I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of a uh, little bit of music and wonderful train music here until we get to our next area. Cause it's super amazing. Come on, we're on a train. we have arrived to oil area mark two there's a lot going on here let's do a quick rundown of what is actually going on here and then we'll talk about the trains because i know you guys probably have questions about the trains and i want to tell you what i know and what we've been doing so over in this area there are actually three oil crude oil nodes we have one here we have one here and we have one way over yonder so all of these, all three of these are bringing oil in to these, what, six refineries, four of which are making plastic, two of which are making rubber because we haven't needed a lot of rubber, but we need a little bit of it. So those guys are all mixing their lines, all of them. So plastic and rubber all on one line, all going into the train. So when the train comes over here, it loads on a pallet or it loads a cargo box full of plastic and rubber and takes it back to the other platforms as needed. Now, in response to the residue, the heavy oil residue that these do provide, we actually have five refiners making the petroleum coke or what, what is it called? Yes, the petroleum coke. 
so all of these guys are making petroleum coke they're sending it straight into a resource sink because i don't need it yet once we get to the aluminum we're gonna need it but right now we don't so it's just sending it over here we have four coupons available that's super fan and fantastic fantastically amazing but that's what this whole area is doing it's literally making plastic and rubber and sending it off to a completely different area so let's talk about trains a little bit now there are different segments of a train you have your main train cart which is your, is your electric uh locomotive that guy pretty much let's just say for the sake of ease requires a train station so a train station is this segment there's multiple segments there's this segment there's this segment and there's this segment this is actually three different segments so the train station is what tells the train where to go where and what is a stop so this is a stop and i put it on the stop as a stop so it needs to stop here now how the uh how the loading and unloading works is essentially that each train cart you have freight car has to be accompanied by a freight platform so there's two different types of play flat freight platforms there's a liquid platform and there is a like a, a solid material platform which was what we have here now you might be asking well why do you have this one in the middle and that's because you have your train and then you have one freight cart and then you have two freight carts or three or four however many so for us the train regardless has to we have to have a train cart pretty much at every stop if, if we want it to stop there it has to stop the first cart the first freight cart is actually from hold on stay with me now stay with me is because we have factory one delivering items to the factory two i i didn't rename it but this is factory two so factory one i want i have items being picked up there we have heavy modular frames being picked up there and we have and we have something else being picked up there i can't remember off the top of my head we have heavy modular frames and something being picked up there now that is being loaded into cart number one which is the first cart after the locomotive and then as you've seen we have it goes then from factory one to oil mark two which is here so it completely bypasses the second station now i don't want that first cart being unloaded here i don't want anything to do with it i don't want anything being added to it i don't i want it to stay cart number one i want to only have those two items so i placed this empty platform so now when it stops here this first cart that's already been loaded with factory one items does not get touched nothing happens with it regardless nothing is loaded nothing is added nothing is taken away now since this is the second stop on this train because factory one is the first factory this is the second stop this is the stop that gets loaded up with plastic and rubber so this is cart number two so cart number two i need loaded onto it and i don't need anything unloaded and you can see in here you have two options you have uh unload or load so i have it selected as load because i want this to load onto the second cart i don't want anything to first part i don't want the first cart to do anything i literally just want to sit here bypass it whatever cool and i'm going to talk about why i have it bypassing like this in a second once the once the train comes back we ride to the second station we'll talk about it a little bit second cart is going to be these items this cart nothing that cart load these items so once this thing comes back which is there right now and you can see it already has something in the first slot it already has something in the first cart because we said on factory number one we want it to load whatever items it was uh it could be whatever it could be any multitude of items but we picked what items so technically this guy has items from the first factory already loaded onto it as it goes we're gonna go ahead and hop into it because we don't really need to do anything over here it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna load the second container because we don't we don't we we need stuff we need stuff brought from here to the next factory as you can see bada bing bada boom it's bringing it over it's gonna go ahead it's gonna set it down on that car you know what's really weird though is that the cart is actually black and red but then as soon as it gets put on the train it turns just to uh like an orange color yeah i know right amazing <laughs> amazing so now let's head back to the factory two essentially and i think i'm gonna rename it to to kind of make things a little bit simpler and i i, I do apologize if this, if this is a little bit confusing i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible all right so we are coming up on factory number two i know it's some other name but keep in mind so we have from the beginning the locomotive we have train cart one which has items from the first factory and train cart two which has items from the second factory the reason that i do not have it stop here is because 
Oh, shoot. I'm about to die. Ow, that really hurt. So the reason I do not have it stop here is because if you see the direction we're facing, if you were on a oval loop and you weren't reattaching to the same rails as you have before, because if you're on an oval, it's the train is facing the same direction regardless. However, here, I do have it on this like loop thing. So as you can see, it's gonna turn over here. It's gonna go around. It's gonna connect to the same track going the opposite direction as it was the first time. So for me, the first cart is from the first factory. I do not want it unloading from the second factory because it would say if, if the train was going the opposite direction, cart one would be in cart two's slot and cart two would be in cart one slot. So this guy's loading up here. It's gonna go right past cart or right past factory number two. It's gonna swoop around and it's gonna come back. So this is first cart is the first factory. Second cart is the second factory. And that only applies if you're running it in a situation like this, where it's gonna figure eight or whatever you wanna call it on the same track, because I didn't wanna place this, uh, another track because like these can use the same track. So I'm gonna use the same track. But if you're running in an oval, it really wouldn't matter because factory one would be on cart one, factory two would be on cart two, factory three, cart three, so on and so forth. So you just have to keep in mind that the items being picked up have to be delivered essentially the same way or you have to plan for it so let me hop out right here and explain this a little bit a little bit more and I, I do apologize i'm trying to keep this as simple as i can but like i said train station right here this is the train station it says that it has to go this way it has to be going this way for it to unload so this has to be the train cart the first one the first cargo cart is right here the second cargo cart is right here this is the first factory. It passes right through. It does not stop here. This is the second oil factory, if you will. So when the cart, when the train comes back, it stops here. This unloads first factory. This unloads sec second factory, and they all go in as they're supposed to. Now, I I do apologize if, if if that's a little confusing. I might make a dedicated video explaining the trains a little bit more because I understand that that can be confusing. I'm hoping that that helps you guys a little bit. It, it took me a minute to figure it out. I was like, okay, wait a second. Why is this not working? And then I was like, oh, this is this is why. So that's why that's why that does what it does. <laughs> so uh, apologize for the uh, the long explanation. Hopefully it helps you guys with the trains, things like that. Now, like I said, if you just have a perfect oval where it's just going in a circle, it's not going to matter as much. But for this case, where it loops around onto the same track, comes back the opposite direction, loops around again. It, it does kind of get a little confusing. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. So uh, we have those guys doing their things, which is fantastic. Now, bauxite refinement. We need a couple of items. Um, we probably are pretty close to those. I am making a bunch of computers currently. But what I want to do is I actually want to get some sulfur going. And like I said, we have some sulfur way over here. Like... It's not close at all, like not even close. So I think what we're going to try to do is I think I'm going to try to run platforms all the way over there. I'm going to make a like a little um, a little area that's doing sulfur stuff, uh, making possibly like gunpowder and things like that. And then I think we're going to actually run a truck from point A to point B, because I think the truck will be OK. Uh, we have fuel that is relatively close by, which is over here. What is going on here? Stop. Stop that. Uh, we have fuel that's relatively close by. It's over here. So we'll probably run the truck station right here. We'll run some fuel to it so it can be constantly fueled. I think it'll be good to go that way. And I think it's close enough where it's not going to make too big, of a difference, too big of a difference. Now, I don't know if I want it all the way up here or if I actually want it down below because we have a couple layers going on right now. Uh, we have that layer, which I think might be pretty good for uh, for the truck thing, for truck running. Now, the only problem is like the trees. I don't know if the trees are going to get in the way. So we might have to run over the top of the trees. I'm not actually sure. And I don't know with the truck running across the train tracks, if the odds are not in our favor and the truck has to be like, happens to be crossing at the same time as the train, what would happen? Now we could build a little ramp going over that, which I mean, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be too bad, but I think we're just going to make one going underneath it. And if anything, we could always remove one of these ramps going down. We could possibly remove this one right here and make it like a little truck area. So I think that's what we're going to do. 
Uh, and we're gonna try doing some sulfur things that's that's what we're gonna try to do we're gonna try to get a little little bit of sulfur stuff set up in the meantime so we're gonna need hmm we're gonna need a minor mark too which we already have happen to have the things for sulfur i don't know what's required for sulfur i don't know what we need to turn it into gunpowder i think we need co coal i think we need coal as well and if i'm not mistaken actually hold on a second let's let's check this all right so sulfur it's not, it, it, I mean, it's like a thousand meters away that way, but I mean, ultimately it's not that far. All right, so there's the sulfur. Where's coal at? I know there's coal like over here somewhere as well. Oh, 592. So there's coal right there. There's sulfur right there. We might actually run the sulfur up to the coal, get it to make the gunpowder that we need and then have the gunpowder brought here. Actually. Is there even a point in having the gunpowder brought all the way over here? I don't honestly know that there is. So I think what we're actually gonna do is let's let's build some platforms over there. Let's get some things going. Uh, we need two minor mark ones. That's what we need. And then we'll kind of go from there. All right, so sulfur obvi <laughs> obviously is right there. <laughs> There's the sulfur. That's what we're trying to get. Now, where is the coal in relation to the sulfur right now? It should be up here a little bit. Not too terribly far. Okay, so 317 not super far away let's go ahead let's get our minor mark two on this bad boy and we're basically just gonna belt that up to here uh with the raw sulfur and then we will bring it over where we need to go now what belts are we gonna be using here looks like we're gonna be using mark fours fantastic now i don't have power poles ran all the way out here yet we'll get that done as soon as we can but for now, I'm really just worried about getting the sulfur where it needs to be. All right, so coal is right there and right there. That's not too terrible. Let's go ahead and build out to over there. And then we're going to build like one common platform to get these two materials mixing together, doing the things that they need to do, making that beautiful, beautiful gunpowder. Now, I don't know if one of these is actually pure or not. You know what? Let's go. Let's go find out. Let's go down here. We have the jetpack. We should be okay as far as getting back up there. Okay, so what's your purity? That's normal. What are you? Normal. Okay, so they're both they're both normal. Uh, let's go ahead and throw one onto this one right here. You guys attacking me? Bad, bad, bad fire spitter! Stop it! <laughs> you're, you're a jerk. Oh, the guy's such a jerk. All right, uh, now we need to get back up to here. Um, I think we should be able to get up there. Haha, <laughs> no problem. All right. So let's get our logistics. Let's get our belt. Let's bring it up to here. It's too long. Go figure. All right. So let's crank it up all the way. Hopefully, we don't get a belt too steep error. Good God. Can't afford. Gosh, I would really rather go with belt mark fours, but you know what? For now, we can always come back and upgrade as needed. So we have 63 left. Let's go ahead and hop onto here. And let's get this guy onto here. Fantastic. All right. So we're gonna run this guy all the way back over here and then like i said we're gonna make a uh we're gonna make like a, a general platform that we're gonna combine these two elements to make the gunpowder that we are going to need for future uh expansions i guess if you will actually honestly we're just gonna need it for explosives and and uh weaponry <laughs> it's really it's really all we're gonna need it for uh and i can't afford it fantastic all right so let's get this platform expanded out and then i'll go grab the stuff to get the belts and then we're probably going to need uh some assemblers i don't think we're gonna need smelters i think we're just gonna need assemblers and i think that'll be good all right so i got enough stuff for a where is it a truck stick oh what <gasps> no i didn't get enough stuff for a truck station okay that's fine <laughs> i thought i had enough stuff for it i did not scroll down all right so we are going well i did get enough stuff for at least an assembler or three so we're gonna bring uh three assemblers in here we're gonna do one two and three oh shoot i did those both all three the wrong way all right th so three assemblers uh and i want these to make black powder so all three of these are gonna go ahead and make black powder because we're gonna need that for something in the future i'm not exactly sure what but we'll need it it's fine it's a thing blah 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 okay so now we need what three different inputs and i think honestly like the my the easiest solution for me is to do one here flip it around uh one here and then go up by one and flip it around so there's that one and there's that one and then flip it around just like that boom okay so we're gonna do that 
that's going to take our sulfur and our coal and make it into black powder which is I mean, you know, it's, it's whatever it is what it is <laughs> uh let's grab some conveyor poles real quick and let's get those set up right here let's see so one two three and probably one more i think four not a problem and then do one is that lined up no that's not lined up so one two three and four perfect okay so then all we're gonna do is we're gonna run a belt from here to here and then a belt from here to there in that direction we're gonna throw some splitters on here nothing super fancy just one there one there and one there let's make sure those connect hoping that they do oh geez no that's not gonna work we need to bring it we need to bring it down a notch all right so down one notch now let's try that so one there uh one there and then one right here Ooh, i don't know okay that one looks like it's gonna work that one's gonna work and that one should work let's go ahead and hop up here so we have two different go we have we have them going in a different direction did that on purpose are you serious <laughs> that's fun all right so uh we're gonna need some more splitters basically the same thing uh one there and there all right so now we should be able to Ooh, that's not gonna work right there all right let's try that Ooh, it's not gonna work either let's see if we could put a conveyor lift off of this one. Oh, it connects it connects it actually connects okay good Woo! that's that's a good that's a good thing all right so let's grab these connected there and there you gotta listen for that tick there and there perfect all right so those are connected up we can go ahead and get this conveyor belt going up to this one and then we can bring this conveyor belt going up to that one and that is going to allow us to make all of the things perfect okay so that's going to be sulfur that's going to be coal uh let's go ahead and upgrade these belts too just to make sure we're running at maximum efficiency perfect looks good so we're gonna have three things produce producing black powder now i was gonna build a truck station uh, no no quick Ow, I wasn't quick enough. <laughs> I wasn't quick enough indeed. I was gonna build a truck station, but I think we might we'll, we might just leave these over here because I think we're gonna build them at, like a uh, an explosives and ammo area over here. So we might not use the truck station right away, but we're gonna have to power these things. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Should be able to hop on here, no problemo. And we're actually gonna use the power poles mark two because I mean, why not? Well, since because I'm a dummy <laughs> and I didn't bring enough for the industrial storages, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do this because that's probably the best thing I can do right now. Actually, let's go ahead and just disconstruct that. Uh, oh, gosh. And of course, I don't have enough for another one. Go, f <laughs> go, go figure. Uh, let's get rid of that one for now. All right. So we're going to need some logistics. We're going to need some mergers. Hopefully I have enough of these guys. Uh, we're gonna need one going into there. So going out, going this way and going that way. Okay, uh, mark four belts all the way around, of course, because why not? All right, there's that. And then let's go ahead and throw a elevator on here. That's mark four as well. Looks good. All right, so those are all connected up. Everything's connected up. Everything's good to go. We just got to run power. So let's run some power over here. Now, if we were using the train, the the good thing about the train is that it actually conducts power. So as long as your train station is hooked up to another area, you can actually draw all the power from you, like from everything that you have, as long as it's connected to that train station to anywhere on the map. So I did not have to run power lines all the way over to my oil mark two area because I had the train station over there. It's uh, it's kind of a big deal. It's super amazing, especially when you uh, when you start expanding out and using the entire map as uh, as like your resource collection. But for us, for this thing right here, we're going to have to just, uh, you know, hook on to our existing power source, which is just right here. So that's not too bad. And it's a mark one. So we're going to have to connect somewhere else. Looks like we're connecting right there. Fantastic. Wait, can we upgrade these? Can we just upgrade these like a normal power pole? <gasps> what? That's new. That's new and amazing. All right. So these should be powering, should be powering up. They should be making things. Let's see. We got some power draw over here. Uh, all right, let's go check them out. All right. I see sulfur coming in and it looks like I see coal coming in as well. Did I select all these? These are all selected. 
Are they hooked up? They should all be hooked up. Are they going? No power. Oh, I didn't actually hook them up. Oh, well, well, look at me. Look at me being Mr. Smarty Pants here. Let's just do this. So one there, one there, and one there. Fantastic. All right, so those are all hooked up. Ready to rock and roll. Oh, they look like they're already producing. Actually, we're gonna have to look at this one up here. And look at that, we already have two black powder. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. So the black powder is actually used uh, later in game for explosives and ammo for the, well, basically the gun, <laughs> like the, 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 the assault rifle-ish thing. So that's all gonna be handy dandy. We got that going. Now I need, uh, I actually need 50 black powder in order to do the next upgrade in the MAM. So we're gonna kind of be waiting on that, but we have this area hooked up. We're rocking and rolling with this. That's fantastic. Now the next area that we actually need to tap into is we actually need to tap into some silicon because I don't have any of that yet and I can't even scan for it, but I believe there's some down over here somewhere. So we're probably gonna walk around and look for that. At some point we have black powder this is fantastic. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's wait for this to get done. We'll go and research that upgrade real quick and we'll kind of see what it opens up to. And in absolutely no time at all, we have 70 black powder. <laughs> Super amazing. So let's go check out the ma'am. We'll see if we can upgrade some things with that and kind of see where it takes us. Hello there, Mr. Ma'am. All right. So sulfur, one of these guys, start research. What is that going to branch us down into? Confirm. All right. So that's going to give us obelisk or novelisk. This will give us the detonator, the rifle. I like how it's actually called the rifle and then rifle cartridges. All right. So rifle cartridges is nothing. The rifle itself oh, it might be kind of a pain because of the circuit boards. And then we don't know yet. So we have to unlock all those. Fantastic. We already did. We already finished that. What is this? Nutritional mixture. I don't know what that is exactly let's go ahead and unlock that real quick too so nutritional mixture let's go can't afford oh we're out of wire <laughs> Co copper wire go figure let's see if we have any in these boom perfect okay so we, have, we had 500 i'm like what uh okay so what does that actually do a nutritional mixture what is that what is that unlocking for us okay uh nutritional inhaler unlocks that we already have that Wait, what? We already have that. Alien organs unlocked that for us. We got the medicinal inhaler for that. So I guess maybe you can just use uh, these items to make it. Uh, that's super weird. That is super weird. I don't know. Mycelia, we definitely need to unlock fabric. 25 and 100. I don't think we have 25 mycelia right now. We could probably go and run and get it real quick. Yeah, we don't have it, but we can run and grab it real quick. That, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let's grab the uh, the chainsaw here and let's go grab some of this stuff. So if you guys didn't know, these weird looking trees in this water area are actually mycelia. Now, the trick with these is that you have to make sure you're above like a certain level, like a depth level of water in order to gather these. Now, there are caves and whatnots that actually offer mycelia. Oh, hey. Oh, we don't have enough room for that? Oh, come on. All right, so let's go ahead and research that real quick. That's going to allow us to make fabric, which is probably off of mycelia. I'm going to say, oh, hey, we can make a parachute now. <laughs> that's fantastic. Uh, the medical properties, cool, cool. All righty. So, but yeah, that's actually going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. If you guys want more, definitely check out twitch.tv slash z1 gaming where we do all the live streaming fun action stuff like that and yeah that's gonna end it we got a lot of we got a lot of stuff done here and we have a lot more to go we are working our way closer and closer to nuclear power but um yes thank you guys for coming out enjoy your week and i will see you in the next episode